It's time to check our tallow cake, and you might have noticed in part one, I abandoned the muslin cloth. I love experimenting with new techniques, and I'm really curious to see if it's more efficient to use the strainer than the muslin. Now, I'd pop this into the freezer. The broth is half frozen, don't mind that. And don't mind the back of this cake. This is to be expected, but we need to rinse her off to see what we're working with. And regulars, what are your thoughts? Do you miss the muslin cloth or do you think the strainer and scrape method, mm, do you think that might be more effective? And if you're new here, don't worry. The impurities are not contaminants. What they are are broken down bits of skin and connective tissue. They're food. Therefore, if this was destined to be cooking tallow, then uh, the impurities would be fine. However, I suspect this is gonna be soap making tallow and we don't want food in that. So the question becomes, how are we gonna remove all of these bits of skin and connective tissue from our tallow? Well, we're gonna render it again with salt and water. The salt will pull those impurities closer to the water and out of the tallow. All right, regulars, what are your thoughts? What are your predictions? And yeah, I think we have to make something with better milk. We'll check this tomorrow. It's time to check our tallow cake and look at her, she is stunning. You'd never know that she started her life with an unfiltered filthy bottom. So regulars, now we need to know if she's still very filthy or look, she's cleaned up really, really well. And that's reflected in the brine. Now, due to the ice, we don't know how cloudy she is, but I think it looks really, really good. But what are your thoughts? Are you happy with the brine? And here's the best part. The measure of the success of this experiment is, do I have to scrape away more tallow than normal in order to get this clean? So I saved all my scrapings and look, this is about average. This is about how much I would normally scrape upon a second render. And now it's up to you. Do you think it was a success or do you want me to bring the muslin back? What are your thoughts? Also, this is cleaning up really fast. I'm making a buttermilk soap, but I need to know what fragrance category you want. Is it gonna be woodsy or fruity? What are you looking for? All right, we'll check on this tomorrow. It's time to check our tallow cake. She's been rendered three times and she's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. If you're new here, what we're doing is purifying the oil rendered from beef fat. And for my regulars, look at the brine. The color is lifted significantly, but oh, the cloudiness, it destroys my joy. So it comes down to the impurities. Mm, how are they looking? I don't like that either. And I wanna point out just one little thing. Since we didn't use the muslin cloth, the impurities have clumped together better and they're far easier to remove. Now, I don't know if this is a once-off thing or something that we're gonna experience as we learn to abandon the muslin cloth, but we'll see. It's definitely something to take note of. Also, look how waterlogged she is. Water's just seeping from the top layer of this tallow, but that's okay for now. Let's just take a moment for the cross section. Mm, gorgeous. And now we have to choose a fragrance. Most of you wanted either something woodsy or fruity. So here are your options. Vote with an emoji and also let me know your thoughts about this batch. I think it's looking really good and it's a corrective experience from some of our previous batches. Oh, look at the oil. It looks so good. Okay, okay. We'll check on all of this tomorrow. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me, yeah. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me. I'm feeling good Fish in the sea You know how I feel River running free You know how I feel Blossom on
our tallow cake. She's been rendered five times and well, she said her safe word. I think she's done because regulars, she didn't need this fifth render. I, I'm grown and I felt like doing it, so I did it. And thus, the clarity of this water should come as no surprise. Goals, it's so clear, which is a top indicator of purity. So if you're an OG regular, you'll understand why these impurities are annoying me, particularly with their deep color. And now that they're gone, look how gorgeous this is. Yeah, we're gonna turn her into something luxurious. So I'm gathering my hard oils, those oils which are hard at room temperature, which include coconut oil and shea butter. I'm adding my tallow to that, melting it all down and adding them to my soft oils, which include olive oil, sweet almond oil, and castor oil. Oh, and for our fragrance, it smells like hiding from the hot Indian sun under a sandalwood tree, while somebody very attractive touches honeysuckle droplets to your tongue. It smells indulgent, rich, and sweet. Now to all of this goodness, we're going to add a buttermilk lye solution. When you add a lye solution to an oil base in just the right ratio, you trigger a chemical process called saponification, within which all of your lye and most of your oils turn into soap. And now for our whimsy, I wanted colors reflective of the dark bark of a sandalwood tree and the lovely yellow stamens of honeysuckle. And I'm using them to do an in the pot swirl. I have this design theory that if I put the colors in either corner like this and gently pour, that the colors will layer like a shuffled deck of cards. All right, regulars, what do you think? And I'll show you the cut as soon as I can. Now you wanna...